Hello, everyone. Good morning. Welcome aboard for the love of fish keeping. Would you look at all the people here this morning? There's lots of talk going on about those beautiful live bearers in the chat already. And um, yeah, I want to know about those endlers too, Lumpy Dog. We got Lefty leading off 3213A, number one, taking the flag again. He's got a collection of first and chat flags. Way to go, Lefty. Fish Room Fever's here. Select Pet. Uh, Lumpy Dog is not really here, but glad to have you anyway. Virtually here, Lumpy Dog. And uh, Select Pet says, uh, not out of those endlers, I hope, Lefty. And later, um, that Select Pet asked that, and Lumpy Dog said, yeah, what endlers? I want to know. Well, we all do now. Tell us, what endlers? Um, Lefty, didn't you say you had endlers waiting in the kitchen? Then you said you're going to make coffee. Hope it's not endler coffee. Oh, my God. Yeah, don't, don't be doing the endler coffee. It's not all it's cracked up to be. <laughs> okay, well. We're off to a roaring start here. It is Friday morning. Welcome to your weekend. We're headed down the track. We're not going to stop until we get there. It's a cold day here in downtown Mountain Home, Tennessee. Uh, sub 60. Let me let me get a weather check here. Uh, snow was forecasted in higher elevations for last night. Frost the night before in higher elevations. 54 degrees right now in Mountain Home. Uh, yeah. So if you want some colder weather in your area, maybe set up a tub on your patio, bring a front right through. Anyway, this too shall pass. It's going to warm up. We're going to put some hashtag project Poselia fish in the outdoor tub. That's wonderfully and beautifully scaped. You can check it out in the video. I scaped a tub with scraps, picking up the Rachel O'Leary YouTube channel challenge. And I did go snorkeling in the tub when I was finished. I took my underwater camera gear with me. And you can you can go with me subsurface into the tub and check out all the nice work I did with the hardscaping. We do have plants. But, uh, they haven't been ordered yet, but I'm going to say they're in the pipeline. We've selected which plants we want. We've identified uh, vendors. Uh, if you have uh, outdoor pond tub type plants, uh, and you're in the chat. I don't know that. So let me know if you've got the type of plants that do well in an outdoor tub. I'd love to know. Jessica Spade is uh, lurking during family lunch. Well, welcome to have you, Jessica Spade. And I hope you have a wonderful lunch with your family. Uh, looking back over here to chat. Let me see. Fish Room Fever saying hello to everybody. Thank you for being here, James. Glad to have you, buddy. He's got that ranch over there. Anybody gets out of line, look out for James. Lots of uh, koi's. A lot of the the koi badge means you're a member. Memberships are live. You can check it out on the join button below. You get the koi badge. Now, if you look over in chat, you get that beautiful koi. I photographed that in my 300-gallon stock tank today. I put it in the tank. Uh, I love that fish. It's a special icon. The members are very active in chat. They're very supportive. Thank you so much. Uh, you get very little in return for your support other than recognition in the chat, the beautiful Koi icon. Uh, occasionally, there'll be a behind the scenes or a preview release. I'm thinking of doing a members only chat. I really like that. Um, right now, we have a small number of members. It would be outstanding to have a nice uh, maybe guest and a members only chat. So you guys could get some special attention and recognition that way. I'd love to do that for you. So I won't say it's in the works yet, but it's on the drawing board. If you got some thoughts on that, let me know. Hello, Gina French. Uh, we got Ed here, Chattanooga Ed. There's a big member. Thank you, Ed, for all your support. Uh, yeah, no worries, Lefty. Welcome back. Okay, yeah, Otter Creek Aquatics has awesome endlers and guppies and lefty has said in chat that he got some of kendall otters uh endlers and they're fantastic and i think uh i don't want to speak out of line here but i think i recall that otter creek aquatics was getting some of his stock from lrb aquatics so lucas brett's you know phenom with the endlers uh, and guppies so some excellent poselia stock going around out there and uh, it was just time we highlighted that with hashtag Project Poselia. We got that going on. It's live. Things are happening. The Facebook page for Project Poselia went live. A contest was a la uh, announced last night on Chattanooga Edge channel 
during the nocturnal feeding show with Fish Room Fever and Chattanooga Ed. There's going to be a contest with prizes awarded uh, for the Project Poselia, and that's a Facebook thing. Check out the Facebook page, Project Poselia. There's about there's several categories. I want to say up to five categories. One of the categories I'm honored and getting to select the winner of the category. Whatever entry I choose from all across the different categories, um, they are honoring me for initiating the hashtag Project Poselia as a community effort to raise awareness of fish keeping, especially the guppy and all the other live bearers and Poselia fish in that Poselia genus and family. So that it is an honor and I'm glad to have it. Thank you very much. Uh, the entries will be judged. It's all subjective. I mean, just, you know, some people are going to look at it and say, yes, that's my favorite. And somebody's going to get an award. Uh, and maybe they repeat that. Maybe it becomes a serial contest, but the goal is to promote fish keeping using the posilier, especially the guppy. That's where we're at. That's what we're doing. So We'll see what happens. It's fun. It's exciting in the planning stage. Uh, I'm looking forward to just uh, seeing pictures and artwork and reading poems of everybody's guppies and Pocillier inspired work. My artwork, which by the way, we're going to do an art chat here in just a few minutes over on the Facebook page, uh, River Life Art Facebook page. Uh, usually that ends up being a live auction. We have a lot of fun. Uh, it's smaller pieces, lower bids. It's no one goes broke. No one gets rich. It's a lot of fun, but so much of that art is inspired by guppies. So I'm looking forward to, to just getting a community feel of how everyone else is inspired by the beautiful guppies. Let's see. I'm multitasking here. Checking on several things. I got several things in the works, you know, I've got an art show opening up downtown Johnson City, Tennessee on Monday. It was supposed to have opened on June the 1st. I uh, had a little bit of time. And, uh, okay, great. I just see that now, James. Thanks. Uh, so it, it cut out a week of work and preparation is what happened. Uh, hanging on June the 1st meant I had a good week and a couple of weeks to choose from two weeks total and that's gone. So Monday's the day I was at the hardware store yesterday in and out getting hanging supplies. Uh, I do have a couple of conservation groups identified. So the phase one of the hanging, what I have ready to go on Monday are 11 paintings, six from our tropical fish keeping hobby, five of local and indigenous Tennessee species fauna, uh, and two conservation groups, one international, one local will get a portion of the proceeds. Should there be any sales? Um, I did, I did watching, I rewatched the live stream from last night, the community tank live stream, uh, on Facebook, 10 30 PM Thursday. And I, the, I missed the question a couple of times. Will we be able to sell? Hey, aqua balls. Will Lori Vinker's here. Um, will we be able to sell from the virtual art show? The venue has decided, all of these changes came about when the venue decided not to open to the public. We're going to continue to be cautious during these strange times. I'm all in support of that. Uh, but uh, I counter proposed an idea. We're going to go with it. I need your help. We're going to try a virtual art show. I'm going to get a video, some photographs, and we're going to be sharing links. Definitely the Facebook, the River Life Facebook, uh, River Life Art Facebook page is going to be a primary resource. So you can go ahead and start sharing that page out if you would and keep an eye out for the Rack Cross Endorsed by Nature art show to start showing up there. This is going to be a virtual art show. There's not going to be any foot traffic uh, from the public. They are going to have the space open to people they have space leased to under contract. So they'll still be able to work there so the question was, will we be able to sell virtually? And the answer is yes. Um, and shipping throughout the United States, no problem. Shipping outside the United States, uh, we're going to have to uh, work something out. And each piece that sells 
could potentially have a different shipping price. So that's going to have to be worked out. If you decide you see a piece that you'd like to have, um, there won't be a purchase price in the cash register. It'll be a contact. I'll find out where you are. I'll get the measurements of the piece that you want and we'll discuss what the shipping charges are going to be. Now, that being said, so there will be an additional shipping charge to the buyer and uh, a portion of the proceeds from any sale will go uh, to the uh, group or groups mentioned. And um, yeah, so that's that's how we're going to do that. It will probably be a PayPal exchange. You'll give me a, your address through a private message, and I'll I'll ship and get a shipping uh, cost to you. All that being said, this is this is big. Okay, this is big. The venue is not going to take a cut of the sale, so that is huge. Some galleries get up to fifty percent of the sale. So what that means is my price is my price. We're not adding on any fees. So if I had a price for a piece and the gallery charged 50%, that doesn't mean I get paid 50% less. That means the buyer has to pay 50% more. And that's just, that's just the way it is with the original art being gallery represented. So this is a very unique opportunity. And by the way, this disclosure here, my paintings go for about $2 a square inch plus 25% um, for the wrapped gallery edge that I paint. So you don't have to buy a frame. So that's the base price for my art. That's the range we're looking at. $2 a square inch plus 25%. So you can do the math. Um, and that's a working wage for an artist. That's, uh, you know, that's not $6 a square inch but it's not putting artists out of work. So they have to be a starving artist. That's a good base rate for an artist. Jessica Spade coming in as a new member. Thank you so much for that, Jessica. We do appreciate our members and the membership support is certainly appreciated. Now, got, got that piece of business out of the way. And now we've got a visitor sneaking in here. I want to introduce you to somebody. A good friend of mine does a lot for the community is going to really help out this project, Poselia. I've been working on this behind the scenes for a little while. And let's see if I can figure out how we can get yeah, James of Fish Fever up in here. James, good morning. How are you? Thanks for joining us. Good morning, brother. Doing well. I managed to uh, sneak out to my car on this rainy day for a few minutes to join you. I appreciate you having me on. Thanks for that extra effort. I knew you would. Thank you very Absolutely. much. Will you speak to uh, your involvement in the hashtag Project Poselia, what it means to you and what it might mean for the community? So what it means to me, um, and I've, I've told this story a little bit before, but like you've mentioned, you started out with guppies. Guppies have been a part of your hobby and your fish keeping life from the beginning. Um, for me, I just now got into them a couple months ago. Um, move that mic further, maybe that'll help with that echo I hear slightly. Um, it's something that I was never really interested in guppies. I always wanted a real fish, so to speak. Um, was into monster fish a lot, piranhas and things like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Got into mutt guppies, you know, just the standard Petco fancy guppies. Um, and was enjoying them and like live bears. It was my first live bears. <laughs> and then between you and Chattanooga Ed um, really got me interested in all the different strains and things. And then I purchased some at, um, oh goodness, the big fish deal from Mike, the fish tank barn. Is that was that when you gave in? Is that when you broke that, over? That, okay. That's when I gave in, and then I realized all the amazing. So I'm trying not to drop my phone here. All the amazing strains and possibilities, and just the colors and qualities, and it's something that I think can bring us all together because <clears throat> it doesn't really matter what type of fish keeper you are per se, whether you're a big fish person mm -hmm. or you know what your niche is, so to speak. Um, if you have one in the fish keeping hobby. Uh, guppies are just an amazing fish to to bring to the table to add to your fish room. Um, and it's just uh, it, it's not only something to get new people involved; it's something to reinvigorate people that have been in the hobby. I think so, absolutely. Now, do you have you've been keeping guppies a short time now? Do you and and they're hard to resist, man. Don't feel like you're weak. Uh, do Do you have a favorite yet? Oh, that's that would be tough. 
<laughs> if I if I could only keep one tank, and a, a lot of the um, the IFGA people won't like this, but if I could only have one of my guppy tanks, if I had to go back to one, it would actually be my mutt guppy tank, just because of the color variety. Yeah. yeah. There's no requirements or specifications. You know, it is what it is, and it's a beautiful thing. Like I mentioned the other day, it's almost like living fluid art in motion. Oh, in well art. said. Bravo. It is exactly that. And then I transpose it into wall hanging art too, in so many ways. And I don't do fish portraits. If you look at my work, you'll smell a guppy inspiration, but you won't see a guppy fish. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah, absolutely. So um, my favorite guppies are the ones I'm looking at. Okay. I, I have a favorite guppy in the fish room fever fish room. That black lace guppy is amazing. Uh, yeah. And I, 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 it varies. Now I've got what I call a guppy, a mutt guppy community going. I've got my females and males separated. If right. you listened last night to the live stream yesterday, I removed another sleeper male yeah, from my I female tank. Know. But these guppies are actual, they're strain guppies sold by PetSmart. But right. they were born, I had them in a quarantine tank um, together all of the different guppies that I bought, you know, if you buy the female guppy at PetSmart, they're all in one tank and they started having fry. Right. They, uh, the adults had a terrible time with it. They didn't recover. I think I got one or two fish out of quarantine and they died within two weeks, but the, the fry born in the treated tank all reared out. Well, I didn't lose a, a single one that I know of. And they're all different. They're like strain guppies. You can tell that's a tequila sunrise. That's a Dumbo ear. That's, but because I raised them in a community environment as fry. Now that's my uh, mutt guppy tank. I'm not that's separating them out into five, six different uh, lines to breed and what a mutt guppy tank it is. I can only imagine the fry that that group's going to throw this summer out there on the patio in that tub that I escaped just for hashtag project Poselia. Absolutely. And that's one of the things I'm almost looking forward to is when I go through and call from some of those specific strains, taking some of the less desirable colors and adding them to the mutt guppies. I think that it's going to be amazing. Some of the things that come out. From you that. never know what you're going to get. It's, yeah. it's outstanding. I just glanced up there and saw HC Aqua in the chat, a guppy expert. Jesse, thanks for being here. Uh, I've got your stickers on the desk because I just opened your envelope. I have also stickers from James at Fish Room Fever and Chattanooga Ed, but they're out of reach. They're, they're over there. But we're doing the sticker jam. If you send me a self-addressed stamped envelope to the address in the description, you get some River Life stickers. You get some HC Aqua stickers. You get some uh, James sent us some Fish Room Fever stickers. Ed sent us some Chattanooga Ed stickers. We've had others in the past. I hear others are on the way. It's a sticker jam. We're just using my post office box to have some community space. And I can't wait to get you guys some of these stickers. And um, this is actually a killifish, I think, on HC Aqua's uh, stickers. Is that right, Jesse? Another sure. gorgeous fish. But if you watch HC Aqua content, and I recommend you do, he does a lot of outdoor tubbing. He's got the guppies in a tub. Talk about an inspiration. And he's giving me tips. Thanks, Jesse. I appreciate you uploading that content for me. Now, the content over at Fish Room Fever, James just uh, also active on Instagram, shared a guppy score on Instagram. I followed that to a YouTube video that he made. And you guys got to check out his guppy video. And you decide what's your favorite. Talk about some special guppies. And so there I am again here, 50 years of fish keeping. I'm still not over it. I just told you I've got two uh, community tanks of guppies. I'm going to meld into one tub. And then he gets these fancy guppies. And I'm thinking, well, I could do one project tank, you know. And there we go, right down the slide again, 30 guppy tanks. And uh, it's difficult to resist because these fish, they're so beautiful, congenial, Sweet, friendly, easy to keep, easy to look at, awe-inspiring. I'm not making these words up. You've had them a short time, James. Have you experienced most of those words I just used to describe guppies? Absolutely. It's crazy. It's nuts. I think relaxing is another thing that also comes to mind. It's 
Uh, I like to tell people I don't really watch TV because my fish tanks are individual channels. So if I want to change a channel, I just look at another fish tank. <laughs> There's always something new to check out. It's That's always a awesome. new episode. We got a great hobby. We do. Uh, Jesse just responded. HC Aqua says the logo fish is a pseudomogul luminatus dwarf blue eye rainbows. That's a beautiful fish. So not a killifish at all, but a rainbow fish. Anyways, I, I managed to uh, get a hold of one of his stickers with my uh, Super Dumbo Dragon guppies that I got from Ooh. him. Um, I'm looking forward to those fry. The beautiful fish he's got. Well, we're so we're what's... gonna have to work something out and get some uh, some of the stuff I've got up your way, and uh, get you working on some projects with them of your own. Yeah. Uh... Wouldn't it be great to make a trip to Hawaii to meet Jesse and see the guppy farm yeah. and make a video hashtag project Cecilia goes to Hawaii. That would be fantastic. Yeah. And, and he has the, I call it an honor because that's how I feel about it. He has the honor of being able to go out into the wild and collect guppies where he's at. And that's mm -hmm. just something that I absolutely love seeing those videos. That is cool. So I don't know if he would even be open to that. Some weirdo showing up with the camera over at his place, you know, but if he would, when do you think you could get over there, James? Uh, as soon as that plane ticket comes <laughs> in. You're one plane ticket away from a visit to Hawaii. I hear you. Yeah. Aren't we all? <laughs> the box and we'll figure it out. <laughs> well, maybe uh, through project Pusilia, we can all raise enough guppies uh, and maybe have a guppy swap and sale and everybody can afford a ticket to Hawaii when we're done. That'd be a great gift to us all. And if not, we'll have a fantastic time trying, right? Absolutely. It's, it's just been amazing. And the, the variety of fish keepers that, that keep guppies, um, it's just, it's wonderful. And that's what I love about the community. You've got all these people that have um, come out and joined the hashtag project facility, community building movement. Um, mm -hmm. And it just shows that it's one of those things that spans all walks of life. And all how many forever. how many supporters would you say we've motivated so far to join Project Pusilia? That I know of for sure. And I don't want to name names because sure. I'll leave somebody out um, and I'll feel bad that I do that. But I know of at least a dozen people that are using the hashtag. Is Jesse already in there? He is. Excellent. I, Thank you, Jesse. HC yeah. Aqua in the house and in Project Pusilia. Chattanooga Ed, yourself. Uh, the Zen Ginger doing lots of work behind the scenes. Lefty, oh, yeah. Lefty is just carrying a heavy load. He's he's doing a lot to make sure this thing works. I appreciate that effort. Um, Big J, Kaler's Aquatics. Yep, Bob Kaler. Yeah. Um, Big J's got some guppy tubs going. His Big J rocking the guppies. So it's not just a. It's not a. It's not a beginner's fish anymore. Right. I mean, no. this is an international groups having shows. It's it's a big deal fish. And I say it's an economic driver, especially if it's a beginning fish and you're buying your first um, aquarium supply. That's a new stream of revenue for the whole industry. And if you're like me, you just keep spending for 50 years. You know, I think you gave me a great idea for a guppy shirt. It's going to have a guppy and say little fish, big deal. Nice. Oh my! Exactly. See, that's what happens. That's what happens when we open up a safe space for community to share ideas. You're able to share things like that. That is fantastic. I love it. Little well, fish, love, big deal. I, I love the inspiration I draw from you. Anytime we talk, I mean, I've said many times. A lot of times, you're that guy that invented fire, and I just I want to pour <laughs> gas on it and see what happens. I get so excited. The accelerator. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, I did a video called Small Fish, Huge Impact, and yeah. that was in relation to the Cardinal Tetra and all the work it's doing to preserve the rainforest. It's about an inch and a half long fish saving the rainforest. That's all. You know, it's the same color as a Superman. It's like super fish. I have got to get back into work. I appreciate you having me on this morning. I'll be lurking in the chat. But, uh, James, thank thanks for that. hopping on here. I know that was an imposition for you, but I really appreciate you sharing some great things that are happening with Project Posilia, the great things you're doing. We look forward to more of your guppy content. And let's, you and I, uh, let's keep the ball rolling with some energy in that, however we can. Swapping guppies, swapping footage. You know, you Absolutely. sent me some footage that ended up in a video of mine two weeks ago, and I appreciate that very much. 
I'm to thank you. So you guys, let's thank Fish Room Fever for being here. Let's go over to his channel. Make sure you're all subbed up over there. Watch some of his Project Basilia content and leave a thumbs up and a nice comment. James, thanks. Great having you. We'll see you again soon. Thank you. Oh, man, that guy's great. Don't we love James? Eric Farm just dropped in. I have a 50-gallon bow front tank with a lot of guppies in it. I'm just starting out, but love the fish. Well, you're in good company here. That's most of us. We don't have a nice tank like you do, all of us, but we certainly love the guppies. Uh, Gina French chiming in with babies of what, Casey? Guppies? So, yeah, maybe we got fry going on already. Congratulations. Chattanooga Ed says, go join Racket River Life Facebook. Facebook community tank. We do. Thanks for posting that uh, Chattanooga ad. We do have over 300 members in the Facebook group. It's a space much like this other than just a couple of hours a week live. We have a 24 seven group over there on Facebook. Love to have you. If you haven't checked that out yet, join up at community tank live Facebook group. Uh, immediately following this stream, we are going to do an art chat over on the, the river life art facebook page and that usually ends up being uh, an auction i do have pieces that came off the easel this week if if we have an interested group we can auction off some paintings over there uh it's a, we start the bids at ten dollars so i can include free shipping with that if we get um you know uh, a really nice piece that several people are interested in the bids can go up so you know um but typically, they sell at what I would consider a very affordable price. Everybody can have a little piece of original art without going into debt, without taking a mortgage. And it's it's just a, a lot of fun. And definitely in today's selections, you'll see guppy influence. There are guppy colors all over those canvases. Okay, so that's happening immediately following this live stream. I'm going to take a five-minute break between here and there. Uh, and then we're going to go live on Facebook, Facebook. River Life Art Facebook page. Uh, I don't know if anybody has posted that in the chat or not, but it's pretty simple to find. Let me see if I can do it while we're talking. Jessica Taylor's favorite tank is a 29 gallon with mutt guppies. Got them as a mystery guppy fry from a Petco over a year ago. And favorite tank, why? Because they have those guppy dog eyes. They just dance and prance around the front of the aquarium when you walk by wondering if you're going to feed them. And they're so pretty. They're so easy to look at. And they're prolific. They give you babies. They grow right in front of your very eyes. You look at the top of the tank and you get a whole new view. The Dumbo ear guppies and the koi guppies, they just have a really unique dorsal view. So if you've kept guppies for 50 years and then you just discover, hey, they have a dorsal view too. That's pretty exciting. It keeps me engaged. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what if I go to River Life Art and I grab the link? Huh? How about that? Ed's picking up cichlids. Hello. Welcome. Uh, cichlid people are welcome to the guppy conversation as well. It won't be long. Kyle Locke liked the River Life art page. Thank you, Kyle, for that. I appreciate it. Uh, James at Fish Room Fever just joined us. He was a predator guy. He was a monster fish guy. Went to the big fish deal. Came home with guppies. That's right, because they steal your heart. Those little guppies, they do. They just, they reach in there and they grab your heart. What are you going to do? What are you going to do when a guppy grabs your heart? I don't know. Get you some. I want to see if this works. Um, I've pasted the River Life Art uh, Facebook page in the chat. There you go. We're going to go over there directly from our live stream. I'm going to take a five minute break in between and we're, we're headed over there to Facebook to continue the live action and activity. You're welcome. We're going to look at some guppy inspired art, uh, paint flying off of that easel this week, even in all the madness, all the mayhem, uh, that's the respite. So here's the routine. I get my little, uh, house chores done, free up some time in my head and on my schedule, I head over to the art easel and on the way I have to go through the brand new fish studio, which we just finished the structural part. The wall is up in the fish studio. And uh, we have climatization to go. Got to get some air conditioning in there for uh, the summer months so that the uh, goldfish don't overheat. You know what I'm saying? Looking for a picture here. I want to show you a couple of still photographs 
from my phone. One is of the wall. We completed the wall in the fish room. And I know it's, I know I've got, okay, here's the, uh, here's the wall under construction. We're dividing a three car garage. You see the aquarium there. That's the goldfish aquarium. We're dividing a three car garage into a two car and a one car garage. And the fish studio is going to be on the one car garage side. And that wall is complete. It's beautiful too. We are ready to go. Oh, found it. Nope. Oh, here we go. It's in progress in this photograph. Okay. You see the doors over there, but it doesn't have a door handle on it. The sheetrock hasn't been painted yet. It's all sealed up. A lot of art photographs in my phone, if you can believe that. A lot of river photographs. Oh, come here. Yep. So there's, yeah. There's a piece of, can you see the, that's not a guppy painting, but can you see the guppy influence? So the whole story here that I'm getting at telling you about the progress in the fish studio construction is that I have to walk by the guppy tanks in order to get to the easel. So when I stop and look at the guppy tank you know, and I take about a 10 minute, it's, it's meditative, meditative, it's meditation. I get about a 10 minute look at those guppies. And it's a 20 gallon long on the way to the easel. There you go. There's my little wall. It's finished. Okay. So we've got a fish studio. Now it's just moving things around, reassembling. And there we go. Dropping in a couple of uh, HVAC ducts. We've got climatization. So on the way over to the easel, I meditate with those guppies for about 10 minutes. And by the time I get over there, guess what comes off my brush? Beautiful colors that I was just inspired by on the way to the easel. I, I love that time, that space and that time. And then the final product, you'll check out Facebook, the River Life Art Facebook group or page after this, you'll see it. You'll see, I showed you one example there. That painting was titled, She Loves Me. It's not for sale. That is in the collection of River Wife. And uh, we do like for River Wife to have a collection of whatever River Life Art she wants. Uh, everyone's happy. Uh, Lefty loves the painting. I love the painting. River Wife loves the painting. It's it's in the right place. It's in the right place. Uh, Lake Hamilton Guppies has joined the show. I'm honored. I look in the chat. I see Lake Hamilton Guppies, and I'm so glad you're here. I follow you. Um, I, I met you through Fish Room Fever's Instagram post, and you sent him these gorgeous black lace, maybe a metal black lace guppy. That is fantastic. That's the one I'm doing a guppy, a muck guppy community tank. I'm doing a, an outdoor pond for my muck guppies in our hashtag project Poselia effort. And I see these guppies that I love and I am torn. Oh, I'm I could do one project tank and it could be those guppies because they're so outstanding guys. Um, welcome Lake Hamilton guppies to the show. So glad you're here. I hope you'll continue to follow the River Life brand on YouTube. We're River Life TN on Instagram. We're River Life Community Tank Live on Facebook. Uh, we do live streams here on YouTube Monday and Friday mornings at 1130 Eastern. And usually there's a feature video release at 1130 on Wednesday morning. I do that as a premiere. We have some, some chat. So thanks. Welcome. I hope you'll follow along. And you guys, do yourself a favor discover Lake Hamilton guppies. I'm not getting paid for this. I've never met these guys. I've only seen their fish and I'm, I'm telling you they're, they're stunning. They're outstanding. Um, thank you so much for following. We're glad to have you Lake Hamilton. If, if you watch this stream from the beginning, you'll be fully up to speed on hashtag Poselia. We'd love to have you as a part of that. Uh, it could be beneficial for you as well. Kaler's Aquatics uh, has dropped in the house. Uh, Bob, we've been saying nice things about you uh, during the stream. I don't know if you were here to hear all that or not, but you can catch it on the replay. Um, basically, just lauding your guppy keeping skills and the wonderful live bears that you have and you share with us on your YouTube channel. Uh, Lefty 3213A. So if you ever make another one that looks <laughs> like that, it looks like she loves me. Please let me know. Probably one of my faves that you've done. Well, thanks. And, and certainly I will. 
If I do another one of those, you know how the artistic mind works. These are sketches. Sometimes they start out at, on the back of a card. Sometimes a small canvas. We see how the colors play. And then some become very large paintings. Uh, you're welcome, Cutters Aquatics. You earned it. Um, so, and, and this chat, this community has influenced the art as well. You know, I did this one painting. It was called The Green and Knoll. The green knoll, and it's abstract art. It, the beauty is in the eye of the beholder. See what you want to see. I'm offering a suggestive title. Don't let it stick like glue. Enjoy the painting however you want to enjoy it. So I did this painting a couple of different ways and orientations and sizes. But I loved it. It's a great painting uh, called The Green and Knoll. The colors were green and red and white. And um, someone, in, oh, the Zen Ginger. The Zen Ginger suggested uh, that it looked like a ruby throated hummingbird. And my wife, river wife had already said the same thing. That's so lo and behold, I kept working with that until I got the composition that I like, turned it into a two foot by four foot painting. It's going in the art show. It's hanging on Monday and it's no longer the green and old. It's hanging in the art show as ruby throated hummingbird. And I love that even more. You, we, we think diminutive bird, this thing is two foot by four foot. No one's ever seen a four foot tall hummingbird. It's amazing. I may try to spin you around so you can see it. You guys want to see the ruby throated hummingbird? I apologize in advance for the vertigo. There you go. Yeah, we got this. There it is. There's the ruby throated hummingbird. And right beside it is the great blue heron. Above the ruby-throated hummingbird is the red-winged blackbird. Above the great blue heron is the spotted salamander. And there's the endler's live bearer. And hiding over there behind the U.S. Army hat is peacock bass. All of these will be hanging in the show. There's the Bozemonte rainbow fish, brook trout, <clears throat> cardinal tetra. And you can't see the clown killifish. On the other side of that corner, there's the pileated woodpecker. Not These aren't going to be in phase one of the show that you're seeing now. Sorry. Uh, pileated woodpecker, common yellow throat, and American kestrel. Not going to be in the phase one of the show. And now we may never find our landing pad for the camera again. That's not true. We will find it. There we go. Okay, there was a little spin. 30 people watching. Welcome aboard, guys. You just had a tour of uh, basically nine of the 11 paintings that are going to be hanging in the Rat Cross Endorsed by Nature art show. Uh, it's going to be hung Monday. Uh, the previous material was June 1st, been moved up. Special times. KL loves the great blue hair, and that's one of my favorites, too. I call it my opus work. When you see that thing in person, it has a vibe. It really does. Uh, even when I painted the smaller sketch on a 10 by 20 canvas, it was like, wow, that one. So you, you've got a good eye there, KL. Um, <clears throat> Fish Room Fever says, look at all that art. Heck yeah, that's just on the walls. You may have seen some on the floor and then the floor you didn't see, more art. <laughs> These are the things that happen when you're an artist. Jessica Taylor said, you've inspired me to add get paints out to my to-do list. And Jessica Taylor, with that, you posted some interesting comments that are also inspiring. When you when you compliment, you know, things that creators do, especially me, it's like, wow. I mean, I, I, I really like that affirmation. You know, any creator does. So thanks for your support. I appreciate that. And I definitely want to support you. And I think you should get your paints out. Do it. Uh, Kaylor's Aquatic says 31 watching 25 likes. Can we even up the numbers? Wow. Thanks guys. Thanks for the likes already. Uh, yeah, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't yet, only you can prevent gray thumbs. Thanks for mentioning that Kaylor's Aquatic. Chevy fish is here. Hello. How are you doing? Chevy fish? Um, oh, and lefty three, two, one, three, eight says amazing right at fish room fever. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. So yeah, you don't need to know how many sketches, how many paintings it took to yield 11 that I'm ready to hang in a show. But you can imagine the process. Some click that great blue hair and it's like, whoa, I wish I could do that every time. 
uh, the uh, Ruby Throated Hummingbird went through a, a process of being influenced by the community. That was beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. Some of the stuff um, is indigenous to Tennessee. The brook trout is the only trout native to Tennessee. A, a very serious conservation message. It's a standalone piece of art. That's a suggestive title. But this is a fish. Uh, it's Tennessee's only native trout. We need to know about that fish. We need to celebrate that fish and talk about it conserve it, preserve it, make sure we have some left to pass along, you know, to our children and our grandchildren. And I think that's a beautiful thing that the fish keeping hobby does. It helps us to appreciate our environment and we can't really appreciate the things that are around us without wanting to take care of them. So it's a soft sale on uh, environmental stewardship, environmental responsibility. I like that. So there's no ill will, no hard feelings, no dogma, no shame. Just, hey, if you like it, yeah, look into how you can take care of it so your kids can like it too. That's all. All right. So uh, Chattanooga Ed's back to DSL. Well, I don't know where you went from DSL, but that's always a good choice. Uh, H.C. Aqua says, hey, Joey, Hat Trick Farm is here. Welcome, Hat Trick Farm. Good to see you again. Casey Wagner is here. Have you done a rainbow crib painting yet? Nope. Got it on the list. You guys, Casey Wagner, uh, I write lists. You guys make suggestions. I write them down. They come up often enough. They get to be a sketch and we'll see how the sketch balances and it goes through the progress. So keep suggesting. And now that I said that out loud, did I do a rainbow crib sketch? Do you guys remember me showing you a rainbow crib sketch? It's one benefit of having a messy desk is just about everything is in reach. If disorganized in reach, let's see. We got a guppy crystal shrimp complete with coffee ring. You can tell that one spent some time by the easel, but uh, here you go. Here's the brook trout. So the brook trout, this is the genesis of that painting. That's now going in the show. They're on the back of river life art cards. Yeah, so we started out with what's a brook trout? Okay, gotcha. How do we simplify those colors? Then how do we take that on down to irreducible complexity? And you saw the painting on the wall. Uh, let's see. Emperor Tetra. What was the question? What are we looking for? Is that it? I like the fish. I like this sketch. It's probably going forward. It's not as simple or irreducibly complex as other ones. Okay. Yeah. So, but it's geometric. I like the geometry there. So that'll probably go forward. Chevy fish says nice brook trout. Thanks. Yeah. Well, I'll put, I'll move this to the top of the stack. There we go. This will be a community influence pick 33 watching. Now you guys are changing my art world as we speak. All right, Bob Kaler, are you here? I also did a rainbow severum. Priscilla MK Art is here. Hello, peoples lurking while doing laundry. Glad to have you. Uh, Kaler's Aquatics, um, do you get a, do you smell rainbow severum there? Can you tell where that influence came from? I'm asking Kaler's Aquatics because he's got a 180 with a few of these guys in it. And I did a video, uh, awesome fish tank. Yeah, thanks, Bob. Um, fish tank or fish store tour. And uh, they had, I mean, I just spent a lot of time in front of that tank filming that rainbow Severum. river. Wife fell in love with it. I thought we were going to uh, buy the fish and a big tank to fly home from Florida with. They're nice. Uh, Kaylor aquatics is fortunate to have a few of those in his fish room. Okay, good. I'm on it. I got it there. Okay. Looking around Kevin shoulder. Here's welcome. Welcome. Um, uh, Kevin Scholler says, where's the fedora? By the way, I always mention this. Kevin Scholler is typing in all caps because he's at work as a dispatcher and his keyboard doesn't allow, uh, his shift key isn't broken. Just doesn't allow him to use lowercase. We appreciate his service and we appreciate him being here. He's not yelling. He's not tapping on the glass of the community tank. That's, that's just a, a work limitation. So we're glad to have him here. The fedora is in the vault, uh, safely packed away, hermet hermetically sealed, safe from 
dust and moisture, but uh, could bring it out uh, for the Facebook, uh, the face. <laughs> I'm distracted by my hair now for the Facebook um, live that we're going to do immediately following this live stream at River Life Art Facebook page. And I may put that on just, you know, for a hair beret. Look at that mess. June the 2nd. My barber's booked until June the 2nd. I'm going to have hair down to here. Um, I'm going to be the hippie coming out of the woods for his annual shearing. And that's okay. No worries. Okay. Yeah, I'm catching up in chat. Who here has had duckweed in the facial hair? Of course. Of course. How do you, uh, yeah, it's a thing, right? Yeah. Wipe the bugs and the duckweed out of your beard before you go live. That's one of my rules. Lumpy Dog says that River Life would love to see your art idea of the um, African, oh, the African butterfly cichlid. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's not very popular, but can I can I find a, a picture of it? Can I find a study? See, here I go again. I'm writing down community ideas. African butterfly cichlid. I don't think I've heard of it. We'll see what comes off of the the pens when I find that. And I'll let you know. Thank you for the suggestion, Lumpy Dog. I appreciate that. Casey Wagner says, I'm going to take the male guppies out of the tank. They never stop trying to mate. They keep on coming at you like the Terminator. Yeah, they're coming back. Okay. Easier question. Where haven't you had duckweed? <laughs> duckweed is ubiquitous. It gets everywhere. But I'll tell you, I love it. I keep some small koi and some tubs. Been known to do that. The dog clippers. Yeah. You know, the dog hasn't been groomed in a couple of months either. We're waiting for that show to open back up. Uh, thank you, Gina French. Uh, there's, if you like that hair, wait till about June the 1st. We'll have even more. Then we'll say goodbye to it. Uh, I like to get the, the duckweed does a great job as a biofilter. It does. When it gets too thick, it, it blocks the light. Okay. That's the problem. I have a duckweed. The only problem it blocks the light. So when it starts blocking light in a tank, I harvest up a big bunch of it and just put it in the koi tub. You know, they love it. It's a good cleanse for them while they're not eating it. It's acting as a filter in their water. It's a wonderful thing. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't last long. Uh, I feed them the, you know, the high protein, uh, high end koi food, and then they eat that duckweed and it acts as a natural fiber flush for them. So it's all good. Uh, Q Aquatics is here. I'm glad you made it, Q. We went extra long today so you could join us for a minute. I'm glad that you did. And we're doing outdoor tubbing, scaping outdoor tubs with scraps. We're putting guppies in tubs, Q Aquatics. What are you putting in your tubs? You give me credit for inspiring you. Well, you inspire all of us. So tell us what you've got going on over there. Jessica Spade says, I use a hair pick to harvest duckweed, and it seems to be the cleanest method I've found. Awesome technique, a hair pick. So it's like a comb with long teeth. You just run it across the surface, picks it up like a shovel. Fantastic. Kaylor's Aquatics dropping a $4.99 super sticker. Keep it up. Keep it up. He's got the pair working out with some dumbbells there. That's an awesome sticker. Thank you for that. Kaler's Aquatics. It is 1218. We've got 29 people watching. We've been hovering around 30. Thank you guys for hanging in there. Uh, KL says no tubs here snowed this morning. Yeah, we had snow in higher elevations. KL uh, ready for some warm weather. Just so ready. Lumpy Dog says that fish room fever We'll be watching for your Shark Tank episode, pitching the new beard comb. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to send uh, Fish Room Fever a prototype. He can do some field research for me on the new beard comb, which doubles as a duckweed remover. Right, Jessica Spade? 
<laughs> I wonder how the sharks would like that. <laughs> when you're not, after you get your beard groomed, you can get all the duckweed out of your tank. <laughs> Oh my God. Lefty 3213A says, we just had a frost last night. Still can't tub. Probably won't be till June when I can move things outside. LOL. Oh, I get so impatient. Don't you lefty ready to go. Got the tub set up, ready to get some uh, stock in there. You know, the, the stones and the, uh, the driftwood, they don't look bad. It's still a nice feature on the patio. Just itching to get some livestock in there. Uh, the koi don't mind this is warm weather the, what i don't like about this for the koi is you get on that that temperature teeter-totter i mean if their water temp goes below 58 they can't digest food you got to keep an eye on that because you put food in there they don't eat it now you got a pneumonia problem uh, just like that you got a problem so uh i don't i don't like i don't like that transitional um i mean it's expected you're going to have a transitional period but when it starts going above and dipping below and you're riding that roller coaster. That's no fun. Anywho. Yeah. And once you get about 300 gallons, it, you, you can put a heater in there, right? You can put an aquarium heater, it's 300 gallons. Good luck with that. You gotta, you gotta really want to stabilize that temperature. If you're heating 300 gallons of water outdoors, crazy. You can keep it from freezing. That's one thing. But keeping it 60 degrees is another thing when the temps are. That's a 30, de 30 degree difference between water temp and ambient temp you're trying to regulate. Yeah. So we ride the roller coaster. It all works out. It all works out. Just one of those aggravations. If it, if it weren't there, it probably wouldn't be as fun doing. You know, it's something else we overcome. Oh, Sean is here. Sean o OTD, welcome. Hello. Oh my gosh, that's not a weird Zarek Farm, kind of an odd request, but can you paint a self in Molly? That's not an odd request. So here's what happens. I will not paint a self in Molly, but I will look at the self in Molly for artistic inspiration. And whatever come you've seen a couple of I've, I've demonstrated a couple of my works. You've seen the gallery that's getting ready to hang. They're not fish portraits, but they are fish or wildlife inspired. So I'll definitely will take a look at the self in Molly. And uh, I'm already having an idea, knowing what they look like. Uh, and we'll see if any um, any inspired art comes to mind. And I'll share, I'll share it with you when I do. Okay, it's 1222. We got 28 people still watching. Thank you guys so much for being here. We are going to go over immediately following uh, closure here to the River Life Art Facebook group. We're probably going to do an art auction over there. We'll have some pieces available if you want it to become an auction. Usually it does. Fantastic. Um, so I do have the art show ready to hang phase one Monday and doing so I picked out some canvases that if you wanted, we could, we could auction off some of the original art. Um, it is much more expensive in comparison to the small panels, but if you were interested in a piece of original river life art on the stretched canvas side, I do have identified several pieces that I'd be willing, you know, to let go of. So we could, we could talk about that once we get over on the river life art Facebook page. Uh, lefty three, two, one, three, a said that would look real cool. Good idea at Zarek farm. Yeah. They're a nice fish. That's for Gina French. $10 super chat says we'll miss your Facebook group, but wanted to throw some support your way. Well, thank you so much, Gina French. You didn't have to do that, but I sure do appreciate it. Uh, it's always great to have you over there in the F uh, River Life Art Facebook page, uh, duking it out with the other bidders. That we have so much fun over there when uh, there's a little bit, and I, you know, it's fun for me on both sides. Being the auctioneer and the seller's fun. The other night I was in Punchy Paints auction and I won another one. She sent me this. I bought this from her. In the past, I bought another little uh, card like that of Corridors. But she had an osprey that she was going to auction in her live stream. And River Wife said she loved it. And you know, Mother's Day is coming up. So I bid like crazy on that thing. It was so much fun being a bidder in someone's auction. And we won. All right. We won the osprey. Uh, check it out. It's on Pam uh, Punchy Paint's last live stream, little art auction there. She was auctioning off these little original cards. And we won one. So, 
Fantastic. Way to go, Pam. Uh, Lefty says, my funds are low this week. Might not be able to afford a canvas this week. Yeah. Well, and then Gina French says, are you sure at Lefty 3213A? Because that's the way uh, Lefty strategizes uh, in the uh, uh, auction. And then he comes off the couch out of nowhere and lands a haymaker and wins another auction. <laughs> But that thing, it varies from week to week. We don't know we don't know what's going to happen over there until we do it. So anyway, thank you guys for the inspiration for some art. Uh, I've taken a couple of notes. Thank you for the support. Um, taking to heart all of your kind comments. I appreciate that. 29 of you still here. We're just hanging out, having a good time in this safe community space. Zarek Farm, the Facebook art page is called River Life Art Facebook page. We have a community group on Facebook. And it's called River Life Community Tank Live Facebook Group. That group has over 300 members now. The, the River Life Art Facebook page, that's where we're going. I posted it. And the link is in here because I posted it earlier in the chat. If you scroll up, the Zen Ginger is here. She's up. Hey, what's going on? Welcome aboard. Just in time. We're going to go for about five more minutes. And then we're going to go. Oh, Big City Bettis is here. Hey, Amanda, what's going on? We're talking about guppies and hashtag Project Posilia over here. Love to have you on board, Big City Baddas. We get you and JH Aquatics. I mean, JH Aquatics is a world-renowned guppy guy, collecting wild guppies in the Virgin Islands, raising them up. Uh, need to get you guys on board with that hashtag Project Posilia. There's a Facebook group now, Project Posilia. I hope you'll check it out. Several of my uh, videos are hashtag Project Posilia. You can find them with the YouTube search, hashtag Posilia, very easily. Love to have you guys on board. Uh, the Zen Ginger, we got Jesse H.C. Aqua in here. He's already a part of hashtag Project Posilia, doing some excellent guppy and live bear work over in Hawaii. Uh, but we're going to go over to the Facebook page, the River Life Art Facebook page. The Zen Ginger with the po with the link for Project Posilia. There you go, uh, Amber. I hope you'll go look at that big city bettas. Oh, and don't forget to mention Patreon and Etsy at River Life. Okay, thank you for that, Lefty. Uh, we do have River Life Art on Patreon where you can join a membership that includes uh, an art print each month that's not available on Etsy. It's Patreon choice first, and then... Uh, on Etsy, there are some prints available, just like the ones you see here. You can order those from River Life Art on Etsy. Uh, River Life Art Facebook page. Thank you. The Zen Ginger is just posted in the chat. There it is. That's where we're headed right now. We're going to go over there. James Green, hello. Thanks to the moderators is right. Thank you for appreciating our mods, James. They do a great job. Um, we're going over there to the River Life Art Facebook page. We're going to have an art chat. You're going to see some of my guppy-inspired art. You're going to see some other things. i got a stack. We've got some canvases that could go today. I've identified which canvases are going to hang uh, in the art show on Monday. If you didn't see those, re-watch the replay. Rewatch the replay. That's redundant. Watch the replay. I spin the camera around. You see nine of the 11 paintings that are going to hang in the show on Monday, Rat Cross Endorsed by Nature, solo art show. Uh, and then in the process of picking those, I now have some canvas available to offer to the public. So if, if we decide to go that way in the River Life Art Facebook Live, there may be some canvas available. That's all I'm saying. The Loach guy's here. Good afternoon, Fish fam. That's right. We started in the morning. We've gone into the afternoon. Priscilla NK Art. Thank you for being here. Wouldn't be a stream without you. Um, yeah, 28 of you still here. Thank you so much. You're all cordially invited over to the River Life Art Facebook page. I hope to see you there. We're going to have fun. I'm going to take a five-minute break. Uh, thank you for all the mods doing hard work in here. Special thank you to all the members. Thank you for supporting the memberships that are now live on the River Life YouTube channel. That means a lot. It helps us keep going. It keeps the ongoing progress going. And I want to thank the individuals who are offering community support to each other and myself. Thanks during this special time. We're getting through this. We're getting through it together. And it's because of a community like you reaching out, helping each other, help each other. 
Together, we're bending the needle toward the good. That's just the way I like to see it. So we're going to do this again on Monday morning, 1130. We're going to go to the Facebook, River Life Art Facebook page right now. I hope to see you over there. Everybody's welcome. Even if you don't want to get in on the bidding action, just check it out. It's a hoot. And, uh, you know, yeah, just drop in and say hello. We'd love to have you. Anyway, till the next time, why don't you get out there and see it, love it, and live it?